A bombshell report out of the Cleveland Clinic this week examining the effectiveness of the COVID vaccine on those who have already recovered from the virus. A study conducted on 52,000 employees shows that those who previously contracted COVID-19 show no additional benefits after receiving the vaccine, increasing the importance of the discussion of the power of natural immunity for those who've already gotten COVID. Our next guest has been sounding the alarm on this since last year, saying he even presented the trial data to the CDC, but they continued to misrepresent the results. Kentucky GOP Congressman Thomas Massey joins me uh, now with more. Congressman, uh, this show has been about the overreach of government. It's, it's a diminishing of humanity, the lies, the fact that they just don't care, it seems. And this is about a pandemic yeah. and the most intimate thing you can do, which is have something shot into your system. Uh, tell us the background here and if you feel vindicated by yeah. the Cleveland Clinic at this point. Well, the great thing about real science, and I'm not talking political science, but real science is repeatable. And the Cleveland right. Clinic study shows that there's no benefit to the vaccine if you've already had COVID and recovered. Now, the reason that's a repeat is the CDC knew this six months ago. This is a scandal that I have been blowing the whistle on. I called the director of the CDC in Washington, D.C. in December and told them that the Pfizer trial data showed there was no benefit from the vaccine to those with prior infection. And they said, oh, wow, you're right. We'll change that. And they never changed it. And oh. they've gone six months giving bad advice. Now, I'm not anti-vaccine and course. I'm not saying go get COVID instead of the vaccine. Right. But the, the, other, the other research that came out of the Cleveland Clinic study is uh, that was a five-month study. And the a average or median time Right, of 52,000 yeah, people, twice as many cohort. as either Pfizer or Moderna, they, on average, they went 10 months with immunity from a natural, from infection, natural mm -hmm. immunity without the vaccine. So people need to quit saying we don't know how long immunity lasts from having prior uh, bout of COVID. We know it lasts at least 10 months because nobody in the Cleveland Clinic study got reinfected. And if that's not enough uh, uh, trial data points for you, look at the study out of Israel. It has 6 million people in it. They took the whole nation of Israel and what they found was the the immunity conferred by a natural infection mm -hmm. again I'm not saying go out and get naturally sure, but the, infected you know, but instead this is, of the vaccine this is information sir I have to say that it, as we each make our decisions based on our lives and what best suits us that it's yes. important to know with a lot of people getting vaccinated I'm vaccinated I ever I know people who won't do it who are doing it but then combined with people who were infected gives us a better perspective of the safety of the nation uh, as we move toward right. herd immunity. And, and this is the science that they keep telling us that we have to believe. You've got to have real facts in order to make decisions. That's right. And, the, even, and, you know, the vaccine passports, those are unconstitutional and those are an invasion of privacy. But even if you don't care about that and you just want to be scientific, yeah. you would need immunity passports. You would care about not just those who've been vaccinated, but those who had prior infection and thus were conferred immunity. Yeah. Yeah. But they're not even being scientific about their unconstitutional mandates. Yeah, they're not. And this is just another reminder that we're the sovereign for a reason and that not just because someone's in government or even on TV that they know more than you. So that's it. Excellent. Excellent nice. points. And congratulations, sir. Thank you for standing up for us. I appreciate it. Everyone does. All right. Have a great night.